It is just a three step process to fix speed up problem in Windows. In the first step, open File Explorer, then click on this PC. Now right click on C drive and select properties. On this window, click on Disk Cleanup. Now check these all options one by one. Then click on OK. Now click on Delete Files. It will take some time to complete its process, so wait for it. After that, close this window and close this one. In the next step, right click on Start icon, then select Power Options. Now, select Additional Power Settings and check this option that is High Performance and close all windows one by one. In the next step, right click on start icon and select run. Type here services.msc and click on ok. It will open services tab. Now search for connected user experiences. Right click on it and select properties. Now select startup type as disabled. Then click on apply and then ok then search for diagnostic policy service right click on it and select properties then click on stop now select startup type as disabled click on apply and then ok now close this window again go to start icon right click on it and select run then type ms config and click on ok it will open services configuration then select boot tab now click on advanced options then check this option and select here and select 2 again check this option then click on ok in the timeout type 5 and check this option that is no GUI boot and then click on apply then go to services and check this option and click on disable all now click on apply and then ok now click here to restart your system in the last step type in the last step go to search bar and type cmd right click here and select run as administrator on this window you have to type these commands carefully type prompt and hit enter then type sfc slash scan file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll and hit enter then type sfc slash verify file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll and hit enter now type assoc and hit enter now type chkdsk and hit enter. It will take some time to complete its process. After that, type exit to close the command prompt. Now you have to restart your system. That's it guys, your problem will be solved, you are good to go.